Right now in Orange County, health officials say they have just enough medical supplies to get by. We have supplies right now. We can't be frivolous with their use. As of Monday night, there were 300 reported cases in the county. If that number continues to grow, officials say hospitals are going to be in trouble. We have all the supplies necessary for the next two weeks to 30 days. That The answer would be no. Officials in Orange County, like those in pretty much every other Florida county, are asking the state for help. But state officials say they're having their own issues. The N95 private market right now is like a Ponzi scheme. State officials say the private market for PPE is a mess. And all day long, we try to find these masks. We're talking to brokers, we're talking distributors, we're talking to medical salespeople. We're chasing down warehouses only to get there to find out that they're empty. Florida Division of Emergency Management Director Jared Moskowitz is pleading with manufacturers like 3M to sell their products directly, even taken to Twitter to call out the company. But as the state battles it out, counties like Orange can only wait and hope help arrives in time. We're planning for the worst, okay, and we, but we, we hope for the best. We're planning for the worst, but hoping for the best. And doctors here in Orange County say that right now our hospitals don't look like the hospitals that you've seen in a lot of those videos and pictures coming out of other parts of the country. They say right now hospitals still have room, but they are prepared in case things get bad. In Orange County, I'm Kelsey Thorid, WESH 2 News. Kelsey, thank you. As for what specifically Florida is currently looking for, the state says they're asking the feds for 5,000 ventilators and hospital beds and more than 500,000 gowns, gloves, and collection kits. They're also asking for 2 million N95 face masks. Now, Orange County, as you know, is one of the hardest hit areas to